go is a step-by-step -step process of implanting LV leads in patients with a persistent left SVC. Normally, the left superior vena cava involutes to become uh, the vein of Marshall. If it does not involute, the left subclavian vein drains into the CS just inferior to Vucin's valve. Because of the increased blood flow, the CS below Vucin's valve uh, is dilated, and it is impossible to occlude the CS below Vucin's valve. However, the CS above Vucin's valve, which is technically referred to as the great cardiac vein, is not exposed to increased blood flow and is thus normal in size. An occlusive venogram can be formed performed above Vucin's valve. It is also easy to cannulate branches, uh, branch veins above Vucin's valve. Selective injection with full strength contrast will reveal additional veins by retrograde filling. Thus, one key to successful LV lead implantation is enter the great vein laterally. Directing a wire laterally away from the subclavian is easier uh, said than done, as illustrated here. However, the vein selector makes it possible to direct laterally away from a persistent left SVC. And here you can see uh, the persistent left SVC uh, in the CS above Vucin's valve again, which is technically called great cardiac vein. An occlusive venogram performed above Vucin's valve in this case uh, identifies uh, target veins uh, below off the dilated CS as well as target veins uh, above Vucin's valve. When you direct uh, laterally, the vein selector often engages another vein above Eusen's valve. Selective injection will reveal, reveal additional implant options. Another way to identify target veins is selective injection of the middle cardiac vein while watching for retrograde filling of adjacent veins. Despite CS dilatation, the middle cardiac vein can be located by probing with the vein selector near the os using the AMPLAT support wire technique. So here we have the AMPLAT support wire, the sheath pulled back out of the CS, and the vertebral vein selector uh, locating the middle cardiac vein by probing just at the os of the CS. Selective injection of the middle cardiac vein reveals lateral wall branches, as illustrated here. Once located, the branch is engaged with a vein selector and then lead in place, implanted using uh, the snare technique. Yet another way to identify target veins is to probe the lateral wall of the CS with a vein selector as illustrated here. Once you find the vein, selective cannulation and full strength contrast injection will reveal other implant options. When considering LV lead implantation from the left side, Half of the target veins are above the valve, nearly, which can be nearly impossible to reach. Here the lead was implanted from the left above Eusen's valve using the balloon anchoring technique. However, with inspiration the lead dislodged due to difficulty slurring slack in the coronary sinus. When the lead was implanted from the right side, it remained stable because the slack required for inspiration could be stored in the right atrium. So in summary, teaching points, the left subclavian drain, excuse me, left subclavian drains into the CS via the persistent left FCC just below Vucin's valve. Because of increased blood flow from the subclavian, the CF below Vucin's valve is dilated and is thus not amenable to occlusive bean balloon venography. Blood flow and size of the CS above Eusen's valve is normal, thus amenable to occlusive balloon venography. The CS above Eusen's valve is technically called the great cardiac vein. It can be difficult to access the CS above Eusen's valve with a wire alone from the right side. The CS above Eusen's valve can be accessed by directing a vein selector laterally. 
half of the potential target veins for LV lead implantation are above Vucin's valve. Attempts to implant an LV lead from the left side that is down the persistent left SCC are doomed to failure because number, well, number one, half of the potential target veins are above Vucin's valve, which requires a 280 degree turn to access. Occlusive vein balloon venography is not an option. And most importantly, LV leads successfully implanted down a persistent left SEC are prone to dislodge because there is no place to store the slack for patient inspiration. Hope you find this video useful. 